This story, based on real events from Sikh history, highlights the power of unwavering faith and the belief that everything happens according to divine will. Set in 16th century India, it tells the inspiring tale of Bibi Rajni, a woman whose deep devotion to God carried her through one of the most difficult trials of her life. Her journey, filled with love, hardship, and miraculous transformation, serves as a powerful reminder of how faith can lead to unimaginable blessings. In the 16th century, during the rise of Sikhism in India, lived a devout young woman named Bibi Rajni. She was the daughter of Rai Duni Chand, a wealthy and prominent official in Lahore, a major city in Punjab at the time. Rai Duni Chand, while powerful, was known to be proud and worldly, in stark contrast to his daughter, who was deeply religious and devoted to Sikh teachings. Rajni's story begins with a simple test. One day, her father, seeking to gauge how much his daughters loved him, gave each of them a gift and asked them how much affection they had for him. Her sisters, eager to please their father, responded with flattering answers, saying they loved him more than anything in the world. But when it was Bibi Rajni's turn, she answered truthfully, saying that she loved him as much as she loved God's will. This reply angered Rai Duni Chand. In his eyes, Rajni's response was disrespectful and showed a lack of loyalty and gratitude. His ego bruised. He decided to punish her. He arranged for Rajni to be married to a man who was suffering from leprosy, a disease that was feared and stigmatized at the time. The man, poor and sickly, was seen by most as an outcast. Despite her father's harsh punishment, Bibi Rajni remained calm. Her faith in God was unshakable. She believed that everything in life, including the trials she faced, was part of a greater divine plan. Rajni married the leprosy-stricken man without complaint and lovingly cared for him, showing great compassion and devotion despite his condition. One day, as they traveled to the countryside, they came across a serene forest. In the heart of this forest was a small, mystical pond known to some as Amrit Saravar, a pool of nectar, a sacred place with waters believed to have healing properties. Rajni, as usual, was tending to her husband, who could barely walk. Exhausted, she left him by the pond to rest while she went to find food. As her husband sat by the water, he noticed something strange. He saw crows flying down to the pond, dipping their feathers into the water, and flying away completely transformed, now pure white. Fascinated and with nothing to lose, he decided to try for himself. Despite his frailty, he crawled to the edge of the pond and lowered himself into the water. What happened next was nothing short of a miracle. As he emerged from the pond, his body was no longer weak and ravaged by disease. His skin was healed, his strength restored, and he stood up as a healthy, strong man, completely cured of his leprosy. The once broken and helpless man was now whole again. When Bibi Rajni returned, she was shocked. Standing before her was a handsome and healthy man. She didn't recognize him and assumed her sick husband had wandered off or worse, met some ill fate. But after he explained the miraculous transformation, Rajni realized the power of the sacred waters and, more importantly, the power of her faith. Overwhelmed with gratitude, the couple made their way to Guru Ram Das, the fourth Sikh guru, who was a spiritual leader at the time. They told him of the miraculous event, and he blessed them. Guru Ram Das reaffirmed Rajni's unwavering faith, using her story to teach others about the importance of trusting in God's will, even when faced with life's most difficult challenges. The sacred pond where Rajni's husband was cured would later become the site of the Harmander Sahib, or the Golden Temple, the most important religious site in Sikhism. Bibi Rajni's story is remembered to this day as a powerful example of faith, patience, and the belief that true devotion to God can overcome any adversity.